Intimacy. Intimacy. It's a word that, uh, well, expresses uh, closeness, vulnerability, openness, deep communing and connection. And when the Lord is teaching us how to pray in Matthew 6, He says that we are to go into this secret place. And this secret place is a place of intimacy where we get away, we get alone. with the Father, where we get alone with the Bridegroom. And I like how one person broke up this word and, and, and they put it this way, they said, into me see, the Lord sees into us, and He desires for us to see into Him. Into me see, He says, do we desire intimacy with the Lord? If we say yes, then what we are saying is, Lord, into you I want to see. And the Lord says, into me see. And we agree with that. We say yes and amen. And regardless of the cost, regardless of what we need to do on our end, We'll do it, we'll make a way. When I first met my wife, before we were married, we started talking. She lived in Quebec. I lived in the United States, in, in Minnesota. And the phone plan that I had didn't have international calling in. Well, international calling would have been an arm and a leg, and then some if I would have to, to continue in the plan that I had. But what did I do? I wanted intimacy with her so bad, I wanted to get to know this, this woman so, so intensely that I got a new plan, I got a new phone. I got a plan that would allow me to be able to talk to her as long as I wanted to. And so we did. We spent hours and hours and hours upon hours every day talking with each other, sharing our heart with one another, having intimacy where she would see into me and I would see into her. And so it is the same with the Lord in our time in the secret place. He says, come, have intimacy with me spend time with me I want to hear your heart I want to hear your concerns I want to hear all of your prayers and your petitions and all of all of everything the good stuff the, the fluff the junk everything I want to hear it all but he also says will you listen to me too can I pour out my heart to you can I share my heart with you my heart's desire you know, the scripture says, delight yourself in the Lord and He'll give you the desire of your heart. Well, it, it, it should be better uh, read as this. Delight in the Lord and He will grant you the desires of His heart. His heart. Do you want the desires of the Lord? Do you want <clears throat> excuse me, the heart of God? Friends, <clears throat> Excuse me, brothers, sisters, there's only one way. One way for that. Jesus has already made the way for it. Everything is already done. There are no red lights or stop signs on His end. The door is open. All we need to do is walk in and shut the door. We walk in, we shut the door. He's made the way. 
What's your hang up today? What is your excuse today, if I may be as so bold as to point out the white elephant in the room that nobody wants to, to acknowledge is there in their own heart? And that is the excuses that we give. The excuses that we give saying, oh, I, I've got this, I've got that, I've got to do this, I've got to do that. You're, you're like a Martha. Some of that stuff may be necessary to do, yes. But we cannot neglect intimacy with the Lord. It is in this time and in this hour that God really wants to pour out His heart into people. He is reaching out. He is reaching out saying, Come to me, all you who are weary, who labor and are heavily burdened. Come sit at my feet. Come dine at the table. Sit at the table of encounter with me for a while and sup with me. Here is some grapes. Grapes that I have. I, I love this particular tradition of, of the rabbis where it says that God in the Messianic Kingdom will take from some of the grapes that he from from creation. And we will... Uh, eat of those grapes some even link these to yes the to the the grapes that will be used for that final cup that Jesus promised that we that he wouldn't drink of the vine again until he drinks it anew with us in the father's kingdom glory to God he desires you dear ones he loves you he is saying, come, have intimacy with me. See into me, peer into me. All with unveiled face, behold the glory of the Lord in Christ. What a glorious and wonderful thing. Will we hear him today? Will we hear his voice today? When he calls out to us and he cries out to us in the still small whisper, maybe he's even shouting at you. Maybe he is pining, he, he's, he's pining for you right now, saying, come. Father, in the name of Jesus, Yeshua, I thank you for all of my brothers and my sisters right now, whom you desire to have fellowship and intimacy with. You have made every way, you have made the way. Lord, I pray that their heart would be stirred you stir their heart and that you in your greatness and in your goodness meet with them today Lord that they would lay aside every weight of burden every care and concern and sit with you for a while and look into your heart Thank you, Father, for this, that you're drawing us closer to yourself, preparing your bride. You are our glory and the lifter of our head. In the name of Jesus, amen.